Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marciana Joyce. If you guys are new here, hello and welcome. As you can see by the title of this video, I'm going to be doing a first impressions on some new makeup products that I had bought, um, I think a week ago. Um, so these products include Huda Beauty, Charlotte Tilbury, Kevin Aquan, and Kem Beauty. And I'm gonna leave the link um, to these items down in the description bar below as I bought it all from Court Beauty so you can find all these items on Court Beauty and I'll leave a reference to my shade I don't know if you guys might want to use me as a reference so I'll leave my shades down below as well this is just going to be a detailed first impressions on what I think of the products um, I really like trying out like new products it's pretty exciting to me um, and I haven't had new makeup in a while so I'm like oh I need it I actually you need it inject it and if you end up liking the video make sure to give me a thumbs up um, subscribe to my YouTube if you want to support your girl and don't be stingy tell a friend to tell a friend follow me on Instagram as well MFO joy which will be somewhere here on the screen yeah let's get into the video so I've just gone ahead and done my eyebrows guys I don't know why but I haven't been loving my brows lately I really don't know why I don't know what it is that I'm doing wrong but there was a point in my life where I really really liked my brows and that point is no longer like I really do not like my brow situation um, but anyways I just went ahead and done that just to you know shorten the video a little bit now I'm going to go in with my ordinary silicone primer and I've used this primer before so it's not actually a first impression on this because I've used this before that's why I purchased it again like I love this primer like I feel like it's perfect for the oily girl it says it's a blurring surface smoother and primer um, and I think yeah that's perfect like it's literally perfect for the oily babe because it kind of mattifies your skin a little bit and I'll go in with this primer and then after this I'll also go in with um my laura mercier i get really oily so like the more mattifying i can make my base look um the better for me because i don't like looking oily there's there's looking glowy and dewy and then there's looking oily which i'm not a fan of so yeah so that's why i do the extraness so like I said now I'm gonna go in with my Laura Mercier translucent powder and this is in the shade medium deep and I just go over it like in the, the areas where I obviously get oilier get the most oily I just dip it in like this and like tap it sometimes I just go in with my um, what you call it my face sponge but yeah other times I just do this just to mattify it Can you see the difference already? Like, look how shiny this, is, this side is compared to this. Like, yeah, that's what I like to see. I need to find a new eyebrow routine because like I said, I'm not loving my current one. I really need to figure that one out ASAP. I need to watch a few eyebrow tutorials and try and copy and paste. Ah! I can now go in with my new. So I'm now going to go in with this Huda Beauty foundation and this is the full filter foundation. So I've heard a lot of people talk about this but I think it came out a while ago. Um, I'm just like, I'm the kind of person where like if I find a really good foundation then I'll use that for years. So like my, um, so like my Fenty, um, no filter foundation um i love that foundation literally it does not move like it's literally the best foundation for my skin period and recently i've also discovered um not recently it's like a year ago the born this way foundation can't remember the name exactly but the shade match on that to my skin it's amazing like it's an absolute crazy shade match i love it so much but this is what the bottle looks like it's pretty isn't it it's, it's cute but yeah so it's like it's a high coverage cream foundation and it has effortless application camouflages imperfections and pigmentations and it's got a soft focus filter finish so i'm excited for this one this is 35 milliliters and i got this in the shade coffee bean guys i shade match myself online like i didn't i couldn't go in store because obviously in the uk we're still in lockdown so i can't go into stores try them out so i literally 
purchased this on a whim and I swatched it already a little bit and it looked all right I want to do I want to be able to do my full face first and see how it settles in with the rest of my makeup to see whether it is a good match and whether it is obviously a good foundation um, when I first tried it it was a bit liquidy like it was it was like really liquidy it's a liquid foundation um, it was really watery um, I'm not sure whether it's because I didn't shake it up properly but I didn't like the consistency I like more of a you know like creamy consistent it's gonna give myself one pump two pump I don't know if you can see but like I feel like this is look at how watery that is just sliding off my hands like what I should have really applied this on my skin but we move Okay, the same match isn't bad. I'm actually like quite pleased with myself. Like I must know my skin because I literally figured out the, I literally figured out the um what do you call it, the shade match just by reading the description and like figuring out like what kind of, you know, what kind of shade would be best for me. This looks all right. It's not too bad, is it? It's looking a bit red at the mojo so hopefully it does calm down a little bit you know with me i don't really like full coverage foundation like i don't mind foundation that is not full coverage because i usually only use like like it's all like a pump or two so this is like more than enough for me do you know what i mean okay so that dried down pretty quickly and the shade match i'm not mad at it i'm not mad at it i think it's all right oh, i'm getting makeup all over my earrings my gold hoops so that's the foundation in guys it's locked in and i like the way it's set i'm getting matte i don't like to put foundation on my forehead i literally just use the excess that i get from my brush to obviously blend it all over the face so there's literally minimal foundation now i'm gonna go in with my concealer so i got a new concealer from kevin aquan which i'm gonna show you in a second it's what i'm gonna use to highlight but to conceal i'm just gonna use my ride or die um la girl pro concealer and this is in the shade espresso so if you guys watch me you know this is my stuff this is my jam like it's literally like perfect for my skin tone and i like to let this dry a little bit before i blend it so i'm just gonna leave it to dry just for a little bit and then we'll resume now that that's dried a little bit i'm just gonna go in with like a fluffy flat brush situation and i'm just gonna obviously blend that in guys i really do prefer blending my concealer in with a brush rather than the beauty blender i think it just looks a lot more like flawless um but sometimes i forget and i just use my sponge but i really do enjoy using um the brush i feel like it really just it gives it that effortless like flawless finish i love it Okay. Now it's just excited. I'm going to go in with the Kevin Aquan. He calls it the sensual skin enhancer. I'm so excited. Like I've only heard good things about this concealer. And everyone says like a little goes a long way, and that is really good. So it's like I'm super. Look at how beautiful it is. Look, she's so pretty. I got it in the shade X S X O A, and she looks like this. Look at her consistency, though. What? She looks so stunning. Anyway, I purposely bought like a really light shade because I like a bright under eye. So I feel like with this, it's just gonna give me like that perfect like bright under eye. I'm just gonna take a little bit. Oh my god, I'm so excited! Oh, she's so pretty. So I'm just gonna try and focus it on the inner part of my eye. Should I add a little bit here? No, I don't think I should, you know. I think I should just leave it where it is at the moment. And I'm probably gonna go in with my beauty blender just to get into the 
next to the can is. Kevin Juan is not cheap, babe. Like, you really do, like, <laughs> take your time with it because it costs you money. Don't just use it anyhow. Do you know what I mean? Like, I told myself, maybe this is, like, special occasion only, okay? Okay, so I'm going to try out a new method, which I've been seeing, like, on TikTok and one of my friends told me about it as well, where, like, they'll spray their face um, before they blend out the concealer, highlight, or whatever they're doing. I'm going to be using this Charlotte Tilbury um, Flawless Setting Spray, which is also new in my collection, and I'm super excited because I've heard only good things about this number over here so i'm like super excited this is the party all night stay all day airbrush flawless setting spray so i'm just gonna like spray my face and then i'm gonna let it set a little bit and then i'm gonna go in and blend my highlight mm, she smells nice as well So what I'm doing is just dragging it out, just dragging it out, dragging it out and up, like in a winged kind of situation. This is enhanced, okay? <laughs> this is really bright, but I don't mind, I can easily blend this out and it's going to look perfect. Okay guys, so this is the finished look after the concealer and I think it's very much full coverage and I like that. Um, I feel like the shade's okay as well, like it's not like extreme. Obviously when I first put it on it was like, oh my god, wow, so bright. But as you can see I've blended it nicely so it's like seamless um, but it's still very much bright under the eye and with the setting powder it's going to complete that look so i've got no complaints about this concealer so far but it's not been like exceptional that i haven't experienced before in any other concealer like i'm not like i'm underwhelmed okay i'm underwhelmed it's a good concealer i'm not gonna lie to you but i feel like um i've just put on my shape tape concealer by Tarte, do you know what I mean? Like, it's a good concealer, but it's not like, it's nothing I haven't experienced before. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in and bake my under eye, and I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder. What? That was a mouthful, okay? And I got it in the shade Konafa. I got it in the shade because everyone was comparing it to the Sasha Cosmetics Bar Cup setting powder and I love that powder. Like, that's the only powder I've used on my under eye for, like, years. So, everyone was comparing it to the Sasha, so I said, cool, okay, this is the shade I need to get. And everyone goes on about this set. Everyone says they love it. Like, everyone really, really, really likes this um, setting powder. So, I said, I need to try it. I need to try it and me, 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 I couldn't wait. Like, I had to compare my Sasha and my, um, I had to compare the Sasha against this um, I put it up on my Instagram if you guys want to check it out but yo like this this is this is really as flawless as the say is okay like this is a really really good powder I really do like this I like to tap it on my beauty blender and then again on my hands and then I go in under oh look at that Look at how flawless that is, what? Oh my goodness, that is so stunning. Oh, guys. Guys. I like to go over my setting powder a few times, like two or three times. Just so like, because obviously I don't bake. I like to blend it into my skin, so rather than bake i just go over a few layers a few layers sorry and like blend it into my skin properly it's got this netting um which can be convenient because then it means you're not pouring everything out at once but it's really inconvenient because not much comes out of it i 
I love um, under eye powders that have got like a tone to it like this yellow situation that the Sasha has and this Kanafa one has like I love the shade of like this Kanafa and the buttercup powder like I love like the yellow undertone on my bright on my <laughs> on my brighter eye on my under eye like I just love it like I will never remove look at how are you not deep in how flawless this looks or not like are you actually deeping with me or are you just watching for watching's sake because bro <laughs> bro flawless oh my god i want i actually wanted to contour today like i actually put out my contour um thingy imaging to actually contour um but because i never do it i literally just forgot about it but i really did want to contour today but guys it's not what i do like i actually don't see the point in contouring i don't i don't miss it in my routine like i don't it's not something that you know i can't go without it does nothing for me bronzing however yes i love me a good bronzer tell me she's not flawless though tell me i dare you to i dare you i dare you she is so pretty i think i'm gonna go in and do my eyeshadow which i'm a bit scared about but we're gonna do it anyways so i got this new huda beauty palette and this is in the sand haze i got this palette because all i have is like humongous palettes i have huge um morphe palettes morphe brushes eyeshadow palettes um so i wanted like something small something compact that i can literally take with me everywhere and put it in my small makeup bag so this was like the perfect little number and the shades are so beautiful this is a bit of me i love like the the marvy rosy tones that this has i'm just gonna try and do something simple but also effective um something that i think i'm familiar with and i can pull off i'm just gonna go in with um another la pro concealer but this time it's in the shade fawn and i'm just gonna um smudge that on my lid i'm not gonna use a brush because long so, wait, I might use a brush. What I'm going to do now is go in with this shade over here. So I'm just gonna try and blend that all over the lid. But I like to do it in like a wingy effect. So like. So now that that's blended a little bit, I'm gonna try and deepen it up a little bit more with the same brush and I'm just gonna go in with this darker shade. So I've just gone in with my concealer like on the inner parts of my eye um, just to brighten that area a little bit and I'm now going to go in with a lighter shade so I'm going to go in with this shade over here and I've kind of done this look before on this channel I think so this is just something that I know so I'm just going to stick to being safe um, but yeah I'm just going to go in with the shade just on the inner parts of my eye.
Now I'm just gonna go in with a darker shade over that just to blend it in a little bit. Gonna go with that setting spray again. Gonna go with my bronzer, so this is in the shade dark and it's the Revolution Glow. Yes, I'm loving this beat. I want to, I want to go. I want to set my face, and I forgot that I actually have some blush that I need to use. So I got these two blushes from Ken Beauty. I must say the packaging is really cute. This is in the shade Mauve. I think that's how you pronounce it. It looks like this. So pretty. I think it's a very beautiful dark like um raspberry shade um for dark skin i also got this one and this is in the shade marley and this is like an orangey deep orange shade and again i think this will look really nice on dark skin this is the only item that i didn't get from cold beauty because she has her own website oh pigment oh this is very pigmented okay i wasn't expecting this um Oh my gosh, <laughs> this is a lot. Oh my God, I'm go I look like a clown. I'm gonna have to get over with some powder. So I'm just gonna go over my face with like this flushy, flushy, fluffy powder brush and I'm gonna use my Laura Mercier as well to go over my face. Okay, I think that looks a lot more subtle now. I'm gonna set my face again with the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless um, Airbrush Setting Spray. So we've come to the end of the video and this is the finished look guys so i'm in love okay i love how this look came out all of my makeup looks kind of look the same but the finish beautiful okay absolutely stunning like i'm, I'm i put on my lashes did my lips and put on like some finishing touches like my highlighter my beauty spot and yeah we're good to go this is the finished look this is the finished vibe what you thinking overview of the product my favorite product out of all the ones that i bought was most definitely the huda beauty easy bake powder under the eye i think that is very much flawless very much perfect like i love that powder i love the shade i love the consistency i love the finish oh, i really do like the sun haze palette because like i said i don't have any smaller more compact powders so that's going to be perfect for me whenever i'm going out i'm um, staying elsewhere whenever i'm going on holiday like i can just take that with me and it's got like all the shades that i ever need the kevin aquan concealer i was a bit underwhelmed like i was expecting something you know fundamental but looking at it now i don't know whether it's the powder whether it's the concealer but my under eye looks flawless i can't really comment on the setting spray because i've literally just sprayed it on i'm not quite sure how it's gonna last but i did like like the essence that came from it and the foundation as well like i think i got a good match on the foundation like someone told me on my instagram stories when i posted it they said that they found that it was a bit too yellow for me um and i thought it was a bit too red um but looking at it now like it looks completely fine like i love i love the like there's nothing that i can like fault on this look right now so um yeah so this was the first impressions this is not like a wear test or anything like that so i can't really tell you how it's gonna be 
in the next few hours but like first impressions I liked all of the products um, I've got no complaints <laughs> nothing so bad about them so yeah and that's the look guys that is the look make sure to follow me on the gram at MFO Joy um, subscribe if you liked watching this video if you like watching my videos full stop um, and give me a thumbs up and tell a friend to tell a friend okay thank you guys so much for watching if you stuck with me till the end I love you and I appreciate you and I'll catch you in my next video Tchauzinho.